comes to your physical health during this pandemic, a stern message from Houston's mayor today. Exercising at a distance is fine, but playing group sports is not. Yes, the city is taking additional steps to ensure that people keep a safe distance from one another at local parks. Sion Rhodes continues our team coverage now. She is live from Kerr Park in North Houston now. Sion. And you're going to start noticing the basketball rims missing from the courts at the city parks. The mayor says he doesn't want to do this, but he says he has to if he wants to keep the parks open. To meet the goal of flattening the curve, Mayor Sylvester Turner decided these goals must come down. Hated to do it, but, uh, you know, health first. The mayor ordering Houston Parks and Recreation to remove or secure all 492 basketball goals in the city's 142 parks, citing a lack of social distancing on the courts. What we found over the weekend, last weekend, was that was the largest congregation there that we had out of the parks. Not only were people joining together to play basketball, but we also had a whole lot of spectators watching them play basketball. Kids like 11-year-old Benjamin disappointed. It really should be no reason to take the basketball down, the basketball go down, but I'm pretty sure it's probably about the coronavirus. It's about time. But Ada Ruvacalba, who often sees crowds of people gathered at this park behind her house, applauds the move. It's just too many kids out here. They're not staying away from the playground area. And that's dangerous. They're, they're spreading these germs. And you got adults playing in the basketball court. And adults should know better. You hear the news, you know better. It's just common sense, people. You know, protect yourselves. I'm staying home. My kids are staying in our little circle here. You should, too. It's safe for everybody. And the mayor says that park monitors will make more routine stops around the area parks, reminding people about social distancing and following those rules. Also at council today, they dipped into their rainy day fund, pulling $5 million that will now be used exclusively for COVID-19 purposes. And they're also announcing a lease agreement with two hotels that will be used as quarantine spaces for first responders, city workers, and the homeless population. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.